Hello, everybody. Sorry, we're running a bit late here. Um, I'm Moira, and this is Al. We come from the island of Niue. Niue is a small island in the Pacific Ocean. We have a project here. It's called Shrine to Abundance, to Lanamahu in Niuein. It depicts a falipeto, a cooking house in Niuein. I will pass on to Al now to elaborate more about the project. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Al, and uh, I'm an artist who's living in Niue Island. I've been in Niue for five years, and uh, the project here in the container, there was uh, about six people involved, and it took about five months to produce for the uh, for the Queensland Art Gallery. And uh, I'm sorry, I, I kind of lost for words this morning because uh, one of our colleagues was supposed to be here and uh, he's supposed to be doing this, but he, never mind, um, it took five months to do and uh, this is the first opportunity for uh, artists in Niue to be involved with uh, contemporary art of this size and we thank the, the Queensland Art Gallery for uh, bringing us here and our art. And it's, it's been a real experience for us because uh, uh, Niue is only f about 1,800 people and they don't have a lot, whole lot of money to spend on art. So uh, we were funded by uh, the Australian uh, High Commission to produce the video and the documentary. Uh, the New Zealand High Commission also uh, funded us for the materials, and also our uh, our, the, our New Zealand government also funded our airfares here. So uh, it took uh, a lot of persuading to uh, produce this work because our people think that art is still something that uh, you do in your spare time, and you, they don't take it very seriously in where we come from. But now uh, when we go back and tell them about how uh, the Australians have uh, treated us so well with really good accommodation and everything and uh, I think that uh, uh, I think that uh, art in your way will uh, pick up and, and get stronger and stronger well I'll hand it over to Maury now I think she'll, she's probably got something to say as well uh. indeed I do I'm sure ladies and gentlemen you have so many questions to ask. Perhaps we'll uh, allow that later on. But I would like to elaborate more on the project itself, Shrine to Abundance. You may have uh, read on the explanation there the, about why, why is it called Shrine to Abundance and why we chose the shipping container for this particular project. The shipping container is used mainly because we in the Pacific use a lot of those to transport uh, food, especially imported food to the island and our very small exports. Uh, in the entrance there, you will see a sculpture done by Al. Al used to work in the freezing work in New Zealand before and many Pacific Island people work there. The project is designed when the viewer comes nearer and enters the container, it will surprise the viewer what we have inside. It's a lot of uh, mysteries, statements inside. I can't go on each particular artist's uh, work inside. There are about five of us, and we were each given a compartment to come up as a contribution to Shrine. I have my own explanation about my work. Al has his own explanation about his work. My work is, as you approach, is on the left-hand side where it resembles the body of a person. The head, the stomach, and the, t the head, the body, and the tummy. For the month of June, my family and I consumed a lot of imported 
food stuff. Some of them are from Australia, New Zealand, around the region. And I kept all those food stuff and paste it onto this uh, collage. It's a collage on Hiapo. And I said to myself, I'm making a statement to the government. Should we continue importing this food stuff to the island? Should I make changes to my life? Should I continue eating this imported food stuff? Should I go back and be more traditional? Four pieces of uh, sculpture for this container. The first one here in front, in front is what Moira was explaining. It's, uh, it's kind of like a homage, a homage to, uh, to Polynesian people who worked in the freezing industry in New Zealand in the 60s and 70s and 80s. Now, a whole generation of our people worked in that uh, industry and uh, everyone was made redundant in those, uh, particularly three big factories closed down in the early 80s. And uh, so, uh, as you see in front there, it's, 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 it's like a killing chain. The, the actual plaster sculpture is like a, it's like a um, uh, carcass. And uh, I think our people kind of like... Uh, went into a transition period after so many layoffs in the, in the freezing industry and uh, and uh, I think that it was probably the best thing that's ever happened to our people and uh, when you go inside the container you will see another piece of sculpture in the middle that's called an umu it's a earthen oven where we do a lot of our cooking uh, especially on Sundays where before people go to church they have an umu and uh, after church they come back and uh, the family uh, shares in the food after church. The, uh, the next uh, sculpture I made is on the left hand side. It's, uh, it's made out of plaster and it's, it's kind of like a human figure and it's got feathers uh, on the midsection. And uh, on the outside, I glued the, uh, the verses from the New Wayan Bible from the Old Testament, from the book of Isaiah. Uh, our people are Christian. And uh, I particularly made that piece because uh, I had a dream and uh, I had a dream that a man came to me in my dream, and he was Nguyen, and he said that uh, he was God. And what he did was he opened up his stomach, and he told me to have a look inside his stomach. So I had a look, and there was nothing inside. So that's why I produced that, that sculpture. And uh, it's of pig heads. And... Uh, why I made these is because they're symbols that uh, my people recognize easily. Um, and uh, our, our people are kind of, they love their food very much. <laughs> I, think I think they're a bit overweight actually, our, our people. And, and, and uh, uh, the last one I did is of uh, plaster as well, and it's all made out of uh, plaster, and uh, it's of pig heads. And uh, why I made these is because they're symbols that uh, my people recognize easily. Um, and uh, our, our people are kind of... They love their food very much. There's, I think they, I think they're a bit overweight actually. Our, our people and, and, and uh, our kind of like our philosophy is that uh, we don't, uh, we just live day to day. Uh, we don't see what's uh, tomorrow. We're just happy with today, and uh, we just eat and be merry. And and, and, and that's why I, uh, I made the. Uh, those symbols are, uh, as I say, that uh, our people are very religious. And on Sunday, uh, 
there's nothing to do on Sunday. Everything closes down, and uh, even though I'm not religious myself, I still pay respect to my people for their beliefs. Thank you.